Hi, lovely people. I'm so excited. I am in Italy. I am in Reggio Emilia, the land of the Parmigiano Reggiano. And I'm going to show you how to make a typical Italian dish, which is called pasta e fagioli. What is it, pasta e fagioli? Pasta with beans. We usually have a fantastic beans, which you have to put them in the water the day before, let it soak all night, and the day after you cook for about 45 minutes, it will be ready. But with so many incredible product and market can actually do ever so good. First of all, but you can see also the ingredient I use it, but the main part I use it, I'm using a rhyme of a Parmigiano Reggiano like this one, you know, I kept it. And this one would be fantastic if I put them inside the pasta fagioli. You would love it. Let me show you the way to do it. First of all, you need some nice olive oil. Make sure you get some lovely extra virgin olive oil. You put them on the pan, drizzle of olive oil. I need what we call them a soffritto, celery, carrot, and onions. All in. Oh, I love that noise. You want to cut a big one? Keep staring it, because I've got some lovely burlotti beans, which is already cooked, and also keep this beautiful juice, which is so important. Straight in. Give me a little stir. Unbelievable. Now, you need to get nice stock. This is about one liter of stock, already seasoned it. I don't want to loosen it. And let it come up for boil. In the meantime, I get a rind of a parmigiano. Every time I finish in a parmigiano, it's the rind. What do you do with the rind? Many people throw them away. Why? Why do you want to discharge? You do not discharge. With these pieces of cheese, you use everything, every bits and pieces. So what do you do? You turn around and you start to cut it. Look at the way I do it. Just a little pieces. Let's put my dose on top. Also, I have this beautiful tomato you can see. You just cut them in half. Then off we go in, because everything is ready. Just put them inside. This will give you lovely color as well. You stir it. Then you get some chard or spinach to cut as well. The stalk you do in small pieces, roughly chop, and then food. Grab all together. So what do you do now? When you're home, leftover of a pasta, different shapes of a pasta, what do you do? You collect them all. It's just an end food, like I have this one. You put everything inside. Put a little extra one, it keeps there it. Let's come up to boil again, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Sometimes we have a quite a bit bread left. You can see it goes quite hard. So you can cut the crust over the bread, just, just a little bit, so what do you need it? Or perhaps you don't have, don't have no bread, perhaps you have some grissini. Or perhaps you don't have any grissini, you have double cooked bread, like this one. Also will make do. You get a knife and you cut them in very, very small, look. Then again, you go through the parmigiano, I'm sure you have it. Just cut them a, a knob of a cheese, a slice, and do the suckle the same. So you do quite small pieces. Now you mix all together. Now, a nice time. And Try to get to all the small leaves over the time. Again, get your knife out. Try to break again. It's going to take another second. Actually, the pasta is ready. You go back to the rind of a parmigiano. And then you put them in. Including those two big ones. Just keep staring it. You turn off and you leave it for about five minutes. I believe we only give them a couple of minutes. Let me show you. Oh, look at that. Look at this beauty. I trapped it. They are right. 
crumble on top. Let's get one of these as well. Oh yes. A little bit of time on top. So let's lift it up. Let's celebrate it. But before that, sorry, I have to taste it. It tastes so good. Happy birthday, Chief. I want to eat, I want to eat, I want to, I want to finish off. Oh my mind. My.